What's up everyone? Welcome back to Death by Boost. Long time no see. My apologies on that. So I want to get, give you guys a little bit of an update. Uh, we're going to streetcar takeover this upcoming weekend. So I had to get Frank cart ready for that. I had to repair some damages from drifting. Uh, beat the car up a little bit. Not too bad though. I ended up pushing this wing back it bent all the bolts holding it on pushed it back but other than that it held together pretty well so i repaired that i actually shoved it forward another inch because right here with the slicks and skinnies it gets really close especially when the suspension decompresses this obviously comes up this goes down and it rubs so moved it forward got more room now and then here's another piece I got damaged from drifting. Bent that tie rod pretty good. So I was wondering why, when I was coming home, why is my steering wheel off? Huh? I knew I did some damage going off-roading in this thing. Um, I beat it up, but that's okay. I know how to fix it. Uh, but bending that was due to me letting go of the steering wheel when I lost control of the car. also how I hurt my thumb when I bent my fingernail back so live and learn um, but I also had to do some upgrades to the car because the track said I needed a few things I still don't have everything so hopefully it'll lean in on that because technically I'm supposed to be licensed to be going as fast as I am but yeah whatever so I got a scatter shield for the tranny now so that'll make that a little safer they wanted a, a diaper on this transmission because they don't trust it. They don't sell a diaper for this transmission. So this is actually just like a small block Chevy diaper that I had modified to make it work. It's kind of tough because I got axles sticking out. I got shift linkage over there. All those things. And I obviously can't wrap around the CV axles. It won't work. So at least this will catch oil if the case decides to crack open so that's better than nothing i had to get a new harness because my other ones were expired um they were out of the twist lock in this brand so i ended up going with the little bit older school style not a big deal i'm i've used those ones in the past before and then another thing i've added uh, kill switch that's access easily accessible. Uh, guy I used to work with, he told me, you know, if I ever put one on and batteries in the front of the car, make this thing point forward. So if you get in a wreck, boom, shuts it off. So nice and simple. I'm actually gonna probably add a cable from there up into the cab, and I'll be able to cut the power from in there also. So if that doesn't get tripped, I get in a wreck. Boom, pull that, good to go. Um, but I'm gonna be running the, the slicks and skinnies this weekend. I'm gonna be doing the 150 mile an hour roll racing. I think Cole's doing the 140. His car is definitely running a lot better than it ever has. So I'm excited to see that thing going. But anyways, guys, please come and see us this Saturday at Bandemir for street car takeover. That'd be awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Check us out next time.